ruling by the U.S. Supreme Court could be a win for the state of Alabama and local retailers. The Supreme Court ruled that states can now collect taxes from online shopping. CBS 42 State Capitol Bureau reporter Rashad Hudson breaks down the details. Local retailers tell me that today's decision by the U.S. Supreme Court is a win for them because they say it evens the playing field when it comes to collecting online sales tax. Jordan? I hope you appreciate or enjoy those Absolutely. For stores like the locker room in Montgomery, competing against online businesses has been an uphill battle. You know, when you buy something online, uh, that truck, that FedEx or UPS truck that delivers it, rides on our city, city streets, puts potholes. George Wilder is the owner of the locker room, and he says it's small businesses that are footing the bill for local taxes, not big box stores. We need big box stores, and those, they're all good. They serve a purpose, but you never see them uh, at the kickoff of the United Way meeting downtown uh, for cities. You never see their names on the back of a Little League jersey or a soccer jersey. Aside from working in his men's specialty store, Wilder was the president of the Alabama Retail Association, where he helped lobby for changes to online tax collections. Amazon realized it had to happen, and Amazon started changing, charging sales tax, so and started collecting sales tax because they realized it was a the, the right thing to do. Aside from working in his men's specialty store, Wilder was the president of the Alabama Retail Association, where he helped lobby for changes to online sales tax collections. So today's decision by the Supreme Court to him was long overdue. We've been reaching out to lawmakers in Alabama to see what does this mean for the state. Governor Kay Ivey released this statement saying in part, quote, the change affected by the court's decision will promote parity between our state's brick and mortar businesses and competing out of state sellers, end quote. We reached out to the Department of Revenue to see how this ruling will affect tax collection in Alabama. They tell me they are currently reviewing the court's decision and will have an answer as to how it will affect online sales tax in Alabama in the coming weeks. In Montgomery, Rashad Hudson, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.